Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to create a table with foreign key constraint in SQL Server. Let's open SSMS and take a look. Here, I have a definition. So, foreign key in a table is a column or group of columns that provides a link between data in two tables. So, when we are talking about foreign key or primary key relationship, we are talking about two tables. The foreign key in the table points to the primary key in another table. So that means we have to have a table uh, on which one of the columns should be uh, having primary key constraint. So that's how we can create the foreign key relationship. Here in this example, if you see that I'm creating a DBO customer table and customer ID type integer and primary key. So this is the column we are going to use to create the primary key and foreign key relationship. And then we have first name, last name and SSN. So let's go ahead and run this uh, script and create the DBO customer table. This is created uh, with the primary key, customer ID. Then we can go ahead and create a DBO orders table. So we have order ID, integer type, identity. So it is the auto increment uh, column. Uh, and we are using identity property to increment the value on each of the insert uh, whenever we are inserting a new row. And then we have order. Uh, item name so that's the worker 15 and then we have order item amount integer and then we finally have customer id and type is integer and we are saying foreign key sorry we are saying foreign key references to what to the table on where we have a primary key so that is table called dbo customer and then the column name is customer id so here you see that we are using customer id uh, in, from uh, DBO customer in uh, our uh, DBO orders uh, right here. So you see that we can we are using as a foreign key. Now this column name in the DBO orders can be anything. So you don't have to have exact same name. If I want to have a customer underscore ID, I can create that one. As long as here you are providing the correct name of a primary key uh, column and the table name. So that will work just fine. But inside your uh, foreign key um, constraint table let's say in this case is DBO orders the column can be anything but it is a good idea to keep them the same name as we need to join them to get the data from both tables so by having the same names we always know that okay customer ID customer ID let's join on that one and uh, if it is underscore then have we have to take a look even there is a relationship or not like uh, if you are following this name and convention fine you always say my primary keys are going to be without underscore but my foreign keys always will have underscore in them so by doing that you will understand okay there is a relationship okay go ahead and create this uh, table now table is created uh, and uh, there is a relationship between uh, the columns though now open that database go to the tech brothers it go to tables and here we have a customer table and then uh, if we go to constraints let's see where we see that so here we have our uh, primary key and then uh, if i need to go on the let me refresh first and then we have orders uh, so right here and uh, go to the columns uh, you can see that See right here there is a key that's grayed out and I say FK so that's I mean this column is a foreign key now that's good we know that uh, this uh, and if we click here we see the foreign key name uh, for what we have created uh, right here so we understand that to create the foreign key relationship we have to have a, a primary key in one table and then we can use that uh, to create the relationship uh, in other table as a foreign key um, two tables are involved as you can see and uh, now we can uh, go ahead and experiment with some data let's insert some uh, records uh, into the first table dbo customer so customer id first name last name and social so i'm inserting uh, a value one uh, name amir shahzad and social so this is customer id this uh, one record is inserted now we can go ahead and uh, insert the data into the DBO orders. So order name and order item and customer ID. As you can see that I'm inserting TV and item uh, order item amount like one. And then I'm using a one here. So this is the same uh, 
customer ID I already have inserted into the DBO customer. So one here and one the already existing in the primary table. Now we can uh, take a look on our data. Okay, this works just fine. We have customer ID one here, and uh, we inserted the data here and customer ID one. So one. Uh, this is the relationship uh, between uh, primary key table and foreign key table now if i will try to insert the data into the foreign key table that's a uh, dbo orders uh, and uh, the id does not exist uh, in the primary key table so in this case you know that uh, our uh, primary key table is a dbo customer and it has only id one if i will try to insert the data in orders uh, and uh, i will try to insert with the id two what will happen Let's run this query and the, the insert statement conflicted with the foreign key constraint and this is the name of the foreign key constraint. The conflict occurred in the database tech versus IT table DBO customer and column customer ID. So you notice that the value has to be in the uh, the value should be there in the primary key table before you insert in the secondary or foreign key table so in case uh, we were trying to insert here two it failed but if i go back uh, and let's say if i will go and insert value two here now this value is there and i can make some changes if i want with the first name and last name doesn't really matter because uh, um we are not even using these uh, other columns uh, in the foreign key relationship uh, so we don't care but now our customer table has id one and id two now, if we go ahead and insert the data into DB orders with ID2, there should be no problem. So let's say if I will say cell phone, uh, this is just I'm changing it. And this is actual uh, column value is this one. That's what we are t caring about. So as long as the value is here, you can insert into the foreign key table. Uh, table. So insert it. Sorry, execute it. Now we can take a look. So you see that we have customer ID one and two in the customer table, and we were able to use those uh, uh, customer IDs uh, here in our foreign key table and insert the values. But if uh, again now right now here I don't I have only one and two. If I will try to insert uh, twelve ID, that's not existing in my primary key table, and I'm trying to insert in the foreign key table. If I will try to insert same error what we have received last time. So. This is a, this is how the relationship is maintained. So you see that uh, it's a link between data in two tables. So uh, just giving you an extra, uh, um, I, I will say a bonus or something like uh, how to write the join query. So let's say if I have select asterisk from DBO customer, sorry. Customer, I'm gonna call this or give the alias to this one C. And then uh, let's say we want to get all the data from both table in a join. So we are joining two tables and we'll say DBO orders. And uh, let's, let me give this alias O. So C dot customer ID is equal to O dot customer ID. And here we say on. And now we can select uh, I'm going to select every column. C dot asterisk is going to give me every column from the customer table, and O dot asterisk is going to give me every column from orders table. So this is how we join. When you have primary key and foreign key relationship, this is the end result you want to have because eventually you want to join those tables and get the columns which are required. So you see that we have customer ID coming from customer table first name last name social and then we have order id order uh, item name and order amount and also uh, customer id is coming from uh, the orders table so as the order id is coming from both tables most of the time people don't really care about these uh, customer ids they are interested in more first name last name social order and even they don't want the order id some you know it depends like what whatever is required or what you want to show for the reporting or the query analysis uh, uh, and select those uh, columns. Let's say if we are only interested to select a C dot uh, F name and then say C dot L name. So I'm trying to uh, kind of prepare you uh, with the small, small things uh, SSN and the O dot item name and O dot item 
amount. So this is how uh, SSN. I don't really need SSN here, but if we need, we can get it. But let's say we, this, this is the only information we need. So we need first name, last name, order, and the uh, item name and order amount. This is how you will create the primary key and foreign key relationship between the tables and then uh, depending on the requirement uh, you will uh, write the join queries that uh, you can use in a join outer join whatever you want to use but uh, you will join on those uh, primary key and foreign key uh, to get the data from uh, both tables so thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you guys in next video i will put the link for these uh, uh, scripts in the description so you can uh, copy and paste and test uh, for yourself i will see you guys next